So often I work with people that are generally in the mode of keeping themselves busy and keeping themselves distracted. They tell themselves a story that they need to be busy to move forward or move ahead in life. And so many times, um, the reason I end up working with people is because they have this unresolved or this hole, this unfulfilled feeling deep inside, and no amount of distraction can really fill that hole. It's a situation where sometimes you need to take a step back from being busy all the time and really look at what's trying to rise up or come up from within. And that is generally stuck energy. And I know there's a tendency when we slow down, the programming starts to kick in and starts talking to us and telling us that we need to keep going. We need to get back in the saddle and move forward, hit the gas. But that again leads to more feelings of being unfulfilled. So it's important when we when we feel these feelings of slowing down, the things that come up from within, that we hold the space and allow for that energy to be completely felt. We need to bring that loving, compassionate space forward in order to do that. Um, I've been slowing down recently because I've realized that my mind has been overactive in trying to get me to continue moving forward and moving down all these different paths. And a lot of that energy is just from programming, from constantly doing. So I want to give you a little bit of an analogy, really, uh, that highlights that greatly. Um, and this analogy will show you why it's important to really slow it down and dive into the recesses and sometimes dark recesses that are hiding within so that you can fully allow yourself to expand and rise in frequency, especially locate and free these energy blockages. And they manifest in all sorts of crazy ways. But think of a house and you have a house and you have um, multiple stories in the house and you have a basement and the basement's below ground. It's below grade. It's dark. It's dingy. And it might feel very uncomfortable to go down into that basement. But when you're on the main level of the house, the windows are bright, the lights coming in, people are coming over all the time and it's keeping you distracted. So you really aren't thinking about the basement. You're turned away in the distractions of people coming over, entertaining, whatever it may be. But when the people stop coming over, your mind's going to tell you, well, we need to, we need to find more things to do. Let's call people. Let's invite more people. Let's keep this going because it makes you feel safe in the back of your mind you're avoiding that quiet time because then you might be forced or guided to go down into that basement and who knows what's lurking in that basement could be things that are very very scary when i first awakened i had a recurring nightmare of this house and this big dark basement with all these rooms and things and i remember in the nightmare dream, I would go into that basement and I would encounter some sort of an entity that at the time seemed very real and seemed very dark, brought up a lot of fear in me. And I remember awakening from sleep, just being terrified. And this dream occurred um, often, this nightmare, after I first awakened. Now, if you listen to my videos, if you've been subscribed for a while, you know that there was a period of time when the Galactic Federation started coming through to me, that they worked with me to, to really shine the light of, of consciousness on some of these fears that I had, in particular, contact with extraterrestrials at that time, right? So these dreams started to manifest, these nightmares, and I had to face those fears. And in order to do that, we have to distract ourselves from the constant doing and the constant going and running all the time. Because when we're distracted, we are not facing the dense energy that is within that is ready to be lit up, that is ready to be seen. And the more we push that off, the more polarity we create and the more that energy aligns with fear and anxiety it becomes really scary stuff. So I was able to work through a lot of that while I was asleep, while I was sleeping at night. And that was very, very helpful. But it is so, so important um, when you find yourself just constantly in overdrive, 
wanting to do, do, do. And when you run out of things to do, that uncomfortableness comes forward and your mind tries to create new things to do, to write stories around all sorts of stuff. It's very important to hit that pause button, give yourself that break, you know, close down, stop allowing the people to come knocking on the door all the time to distract you and go down into that basement, into the dark recesses of it. The more you go down into that basement, the more you're going to shine light in that space. And more of this energy, this density is going to come into your awareness and you're going to have the power, the ability or opportunity to alchemize that. And the more you do it, the more the shadows really have to have to back up and recess and they have less places to hide. So it's really important for your spiritual growth. It's really, really productive to be able to get into those dark recesses shine the light of your consciousness on them and allow whatever's hiding there to come forward. That's how we bring awareness to the shadows. And when you do that, you are creating so much more space, more of your multidimensional energy can land and you embody that energy. And with it comes the amazing, loving, multidimensional experiences. It rises right out of that process when you're constantly distracting yourself you are very narrow focused, okay? You're very narrow focused and you're not aware of what's happening out here and even in the higher frequency fields, higher dimensional fields, okay? So getting in there and really exposing all of this, allowing yourself to experience it brings all of those fragmented pieces of you that were stuck hiding out in fear, hiding out in these stories it opens the door for them to all come back. And that starts to reflect out into reality now as magical types of experiences, contact type of experiences, loving type of experiences. I remember when the Federation came, I had a lot of fearful experiences, frightening experiences, not just that the nightmare that was recurring, but in my waking state, there'd be some weird stuff happening that would trigger the shadows that were in the recesses of that basement. So what happened was I was able to work through a lot of that in the dream state. Instead of having to really face it in reality, it didn't get to the point where it had to manifest in reality, okay, as strongly as it did in the dream, in the astral plane. I was able to get in there and do it. Yeah, I had some scary things, frightening things happen while I was awake, but not the fear to the extent that I had it in those nightmares. So I was able to bring a, an awareness to the dream state even and allow myself to go in and face that monster, face the fears. And it turns out that those fears were blocking me from an open, loving, amazing, magical experience with my guides. Okay, so when you're guided into these situations, follow the guidance. Don't try to form, just, you know, create distractions because a lot of this stuff is scary. Um, it's, you just really can't anticipate what's going to come forward. It's uncomfortable, but it's very important to get into that space of allowing because you are being guided by your higher self into these dark recesses so that you could find and reclaim aspects of you that were traumatized and tucked away from a long, long time ago. And again, that's what opens the door to allowing the magical experiences to come forward. As I worked through those experiences, that fear, the connection with my guides just exploded. It became absolutely uh, so much more vivid, so much more intuitive, and just so much more solid and loving. Absolutely amazing. So a lot of the things we're afraid of are the things that are blocking our growth. It's important to dive into that. Dive into it hard. Allow yourself to fully feel whatever it is that's rising up and know that you're being guided. And that is the path forward. If you have not downloaded my heart chakra meditation, there's a link down below in the description. Please do so. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, share this video and like it. I'd be so grateful. Thank you so much.